Hi, it's Adam with Web Starts, and welcome to the Web Starts Core Competencies series. In this series of lessons, I'll be walking you through everything that you need to know to create your very first custom website using Web Starts. Let's jump right into lesson number one, getting familiar with your Web Starts account. All right, let's go to webstarts.com and start getting familiar with your Web Starts account. Now, assuming that you've already signed up, Go ahead and click login and then use the email address and password you used when you signed up for your web starts account and click login when you first log into your web starts account you'll see what's called the dashboard view in the dashboard view you'll see a thumbnail to your website you'll see a drop down menu in the top left where you can access other websites that are within the same account and if you'd like to create an additional website you can do that by clicking create new website. Now, if you're in an account that has multiple websites, you'll be taken to the all sites view upon logging in. If you see this, all you need to do is hover over the website thumbnail that you would like to edit and then click on it and you'll enter the dashboard view for that specific website. Over here in the top right, we have a notifications icon. And by clicking on that, you'll see important notifications. You'll see things like when somebody submits a form on your website or somebody places an order on your online store or makes a comment on your blog. Clicking on the drop down menu on the far right, you'll see you always have the ability to return to the dashboard for a specific site by clicking my dashboard. You'll be able to click on account settings to change things like your profile picture, your name, email address, and your password. Under the billings tab, you'll find a place to manage your subscription billing. This is a free account, so I have nothing to do there at the moment. Click on my domains and you'll be able to manage the domain names that are linked to your account. With Web Starts, you can register a new domain name with your website or you can connect an existing domain name that you've previously registered elsewhere. Some of the other features to keep in mind are our referral program, you can click on earn credits and you can earn up to $25 for every person that you refer to Web Starts and you can get them $25 off as well. Once you're proficient in Web Starts, you may decide you want to open up your very own web design firm. If you'd like to do that, then click on the designer platform. The designer platform gives you access to things like the ability to save your designs as templates and also create a unique branded portal for your customers. Returning to the dashboard and scrolling down the page, you'll see the Web Starts application panels. Each one of the application panels can be clicked in order to activate that specific application. When an application is inactive, it's gray, and when it's active, it's blue. So in this example, you can see that my store application is deactivated while my blog application is in the activated state. There are a variety of applications that you can activate with your website, and I'll be covering those more in lesson number six. Now that you're familiar with your account and you're familiar with your dashboard, let's move on to your web pages. Your web pages belong to your website and they can be accessed by hovering over the thumbnail to your site and clicking the edit site button. This loads the page editor. Select the page you'd like to edit from the drop down menu. And if you'd like to create a new page, click the drop-down menu and click Add New Page. You can start with either a blank page or make a copy of an existing page. Click Create Page and give your new page a name. And click OK. The new page is created and added to the page editor. Notice that when you create a new page, it's automatically added to your navigation menu. To delete page, click File, Delete Page, and confirm by clicking continue. Notice when you delete a page, it's automatically removed from the navigation menu. If you'd like to change the order in which pages are displayed in the menu, select the menu, click edit, drag the page to the order that you desire to be displayed and click update. Each page is divided into three primary sections. The top section is called a header, the middle section is called the body, and the bottom section is called the footer. Elements in the header and footer are displayed in the same location on each page of your website. This provides continuity so people can find your navigation menu in the same place on each page of your website. 
You can edit your design elements by clicking to select them and then clicking to edit either the content, edit the style, which is related to the appearance, align those elements, create duplicates of those elements, remove those elements from your page, as well as adjust the settings and arrange them by layer. You can add some new elements to your page by creating some space. First, select an element. Use the smart handle to drag that element down the page, and it will create some space on your page. You can remove space by doing the opposite. When you're ready, click Add, then select the element type you'd like to add to your page, and then click on the element and drag it where you'd like it to be displayed. If you're adding an image to your website, you can upload one from your computer. Select one that you've previously uploaded or find one using the image search library. I'm going to select this one that I've already uploaded and then I'm going to resize it to fit appropriately by using the attached handles. You can preview changes made to your page by clicking File and selecting Preview and it will open your unsaved changes in a new browser tab. If you're happy with those changes, click Save and they'll be published to your live website. You can view those by clicking on the View Site button. If you'd like to create a mobile version of your website, click on the mobile editor icon. By default, design elements that you add in the desktop view will appear hidden until you click to display them in your mobile view. Likewise, you can hide elements from your mobile view if you don't wish for them to be displayed. When you're ready to publish your mobile view, click on settings and enable the display mobile view option. Make sure you click save and those changes will be applied. Those are the basics of creating a web page in Web Starts. You can always return to your dashboard by clicking back to dashboard. Congratulations on completing your first lesson. Hopefully you're a little bit more familiar with your Web Starts account. Let's move on to lesson number two, creating a page layout.